as I said to somebody once, uh, how can I put this? Uh, someone was telling me that their religion was the only way, and I said, uh, well, if you believe that uh, uh, that Jesus Christ was really a good carpenter, do you think he'd put a house that big together with only one staircase? <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, and there's there's a lot of ways to be a better human being uh, or to just be a human being. I had a, a, a yeah. friend of mine. I didn't realize how much a friend of mine he was. God, this has got to be 35 years ago. And he had a uh, he had a brain tumor, so I'm sure he's gone Yeah. Uh, at the time. But he said, you know... It's not easy being a human being. And yes. it isn't. It isn't. Uh, temptation, opportunity, uh, uh, task orientation, responsibility, requirements, uh, items of urgency, all these things that come up that need to be that need to be addressed. Uh, you know, it's 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 tough. It is tough. But I will tell you, I made the mistake of referring to the protesters as animals to someone. <laughs> oh, I bet and, that went over well. <laughs> well, it was to someone I care about and someone who's very bright. And 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 he and you know he went off on the idea that that their uh, animals was. I'm saying it politely. He went off on the idea that. Um, yeah. Uh, that. Um, uh, referring to humans as animals was yes inappropriate and and he was correct um animals are innocent animals exist by instinct and by necessity uh even animals when they do horrific things uh they're just being animals uh -huh. when human beings do horrific things they're subhuman subhuman is a better word uh they are they have elected Unless they are mentally ill, they are simply have elected to be less than humane. Uh, if this can be cured by eliminating their ignorance accurately, well, that's great. But if you saw the movie Old Yeller, sometimes you just got to shoot the dog. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, well, and, I, and I'm telling you, there uh, is that at those people walking anywhere near those mobs, uh, the mob doesn't understand. Hey, I want to chat with you. Yes. The mob doesn't understand. Yes. Uh, the mob well, just doesn't understand that. And hey, that's, wait, let's talk about. Yeah, this. that's the mentality. You're okay. right. What the mob did understand when they started approaching that guy's house, where was it in uh, Louisiana? Yes. And he was standing out front with his AK-47. Yes. Um, they did understand. Hey, there's some lead that's going to be coming at me at about <laughs> 100 miles an hour if I take another step towards this guy's house. Uh, you know. Mortality, mortality works when you're when you have to enforce manners. That, I mean, that's the absolute worst case scenario. But my God, uh, why didn't they stop this when it started at Berkeley over a year ago? Well, that's it started at Berkeley a long time ago. If <laughs> you had sent in people and said, "Hey, we understand you want freedom." But this is a place where you have to balance freedom and order and throwing things through the glass and setting things on fire and not letting other people speak and beating people up. This is not freedom. This is bad behavior. It will stop. If you won't stop it, we will stop you. If you will continue yep. to do it, we will incarcerate you. If you do it to the detriment of another person's life or the removal of another person's life, you will be put to death. Yep. Uh, this is reality. <clears throat> Had this occurred there, had this occurred the first time these clowns blocked the first street in Portland, and they said, you're blocking the street. You are now interfering in the other guy's freedom. This is a big no. Yeah. I raised three kids, okay? They're not perfect, but they're self-sufficient. They're raising great kids. And I remember a time when they started heading off in a direction of a tantrum, 
and the tantrum was never permitted. Um, no, you didn't beat them. No, I, I don't think I've ever struck any of my kids. <laughs> but I did stop them in their tracks and say, hey, this is where the line stops. Yeah. You don't go here. You got something you want to express, find a way to express it. And you can, you can, if you can get this point across to a two-year-old, you should be able to get it across to an, uh, a, a young adult or an older adult. Perhaps yeah. it, you have to re-explain to people who like to block the freeways when they think they're protesting <laughs> that this is a bad thing to do. One of them finally caught on when she got hit by a car. Yes. Uh, it's, it's astounding. It astounds me the level of intelligent stupidity that we have out there. And sometimes you have to shake people and say, hey, you know, uh, I have these friends who, who are astoundingly liberal. And my answer to them when the conversation comes up is, how does that work? <laughs> you know, how we does gotta that do work? The, we got to go That's for awesome. free college tuition. We have to open the border. We have to do, how does that work? Just tell me how it works. Tell me where, anywhere on this planet in the history of man, when you had any society and you took away their weapons, that that society wasn't then oppressed. Just give me one example of where that didn't happen. They can't. Yeah. They can't. And if I leave them doing nothing but thinking, but if you can't hold that conversation... And unfortunately, with a lot of people, you can't hold that conversation. Until you can hold a conversation <laughs> where there are rules in the conversation, there's going to have to be some law enforcement, and it's going to have to be hard. And and that, that your, your guess is correct. Yeah. A lot of it may occur in the streets. It is insane to think where we are nowadays. But, uh, Rich, before we let you go, uh, bring us up to speed on some of the different projects you're involved in. Oh, what am I involved in? <laughs> well, of major importance with the note that, that was put on my desk, there was a mouse in my kitchen. Uh, <laughs> and this, this is of extreme concern to the person who runs that kitchen. <laughs> You know, it would be the same. I would have the very same. <laughs> I would feel the exact same way. So. And, 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 I, and I believe it's been addressed with a mousetrap that I now need to go check to see if that addressed the issue. <laughs> uh, and, and that is, in many ways, a project. There we go. <laughs> well, Rich, it's great to have you back, sir. And I will talk to you next week. Thank you, sir. Diggy, you take care. Appreciate it. There he goes. Richard Kurtz of Strategies Ooh. PR and the La Jolla Writers Conference. We are going to take a timeout. When we come back, we have got more coming up on the other side. It is your world famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio broadcast. Coast to coast, border to border. I believe Pam Oaks is coming up here in just a